public and private dollars are coming together on Vinton Street in hopes of growing this historic business district. And the evidence can be seen all along this block. Patties sizzle as they hit the grill at Louis M's Burger Lust. Jack Marcuso's family has owned the South Omaha mainstay at 17th and Vinton for more than three decades, serving up award-winning burgers and hot breakfast daily. We came to Louie M's because they have some of the best burgers in town and we were hungry. We caught Marcuso at the end of the day as his staff prepared to close up shop. Go figure. Give me a second. But even after a full day's work, there's a new energy here, a belief the lights will soon shine brighter all along Vinton. They did the Benson, they did uh, the, the Blackstone, uh, you know, all these different areas around town, and I think we were, Vinton Street's kind of an afterthought. It's really nice to get some, get some, some cash flow, some money in this area. The city will install 60 new acorn lanterns along Vinton, part of a streetscaping project. And Marcuso, along with other business owners here, took part in a grant matching program this year through the Sherwood Foundation, helping store owners spruce up their facades. Jeff Deold, partner in an architecture firm on Vinton, says they were able to install new windows and freshen up the paint, work that just wrapped up this week. That's been something that we've been wanting to do for a long time, and the grant allowed us to take on that project this year. Planning Director Dave Fanslaw says this is just the beginning of work on Vinton. A reinvestment in the older areas of our town. Is, is, is something that we strive for. Its investment, Marcuso hopes, will solidify the Vinton district as a destination for years to come. Kind of be contending with maybe Benson or, or Dundee, which is, which is fun. I have high hopes. After the acorn lighting is installed, the city says it's looking at benches, bike racks, and other streetscaping improvements. Reporting in Omaha, Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7.